I took her son's ashes because she took my money. Nigga, how could you have took my son's ashes because I took your money? You didn't find out until I took the money until after you left, nigga. I took her son's ashes because she took my money. Nigga, how could you have took my son's ashes because I took your money? You didn't find out until I took the money until after you left, nigga. On us. Okay, so this this man is you know he is a demon he's a demon this is what you call a demon <laughs> okay and this is what you can expect if you ever deal with this narcissist this is what you can expect if you reject him you can expect that he's going to slander you and try think they know they think they know they think they know me and they think they know Aaliyah and then they they feel like you know we have done something for this man to come after us but we haven't done a damn thing for this man to come after us all we wanted to do was move on with our lives this man this man has a sick demonic obsession with us and he just would not let us move on with our lives. He just couldn't let us move on. He didn't want to move on and he couldn't let us move on. He can't let us be happy because he's not happy. So when he came back, oh yeah, by the way, so let me be perfectly clear. Now we're married, right? We're still married, even though it's shaky. He also had looked like about $2,000 which I didn't know anything about huh. in his suitcase. So I looked at it like, well, if he's going to leave, he's never offered me a dime to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to just take a, a three, and three of these hundreds of dollars. So I took $300 and uh, close it down. And he's still there. Never once did he go in his room. He so when he came back, oh yeah, by the way, so let me be perfectly clear. Now we're married, right? We're still married, even though it's shaky. He also had looked like about $2,000, which I didn't know anything about huh. in his suitcase. So I looked at it like, well, if he's going to leave, he's never offered me a dime to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just take a, a three and three of these hundreds of dollars. So I took three hundred dollars and uh, close it down. And he's still there. Never once did he go in his room. He I said I really know him except for what he told me and what I seen. But I know he's crazy because I read them papers and then I called St. Louis. So I know it's the truth. I called St. Louis, talked to Dr. Raybon. And he told me, you know, I can't really give you any information. But if you ask the right questions, I'll say yes or no. And I asked him, do you think he is here? He said, no. Mm. No. He got, he got his karate outfit and on. He told, me, <laughs> he told me, if you want whatever you can do, if you get your case and your ducks in a row, you can learn to do a case against him. Well, when I tried... I could not find him. <laughs> <laughs> but I was talking. Go ahead with yeah, but I was talking to him, and he mentioned uh, that that ex-wife thing of mine. You remember that woman that I was supposed yeah. to be married to? <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> and we were just talking, and he brought her name up, and he was telling me about. Now, he don't know that I had any association with this woman. He was talking to me, and I, I, I thought it sounded like her, and he just started describing her. Then I'm like, you know, I'm like, that's that woman? <laughs> <laughs> and he did, he did, she did him the same way she did me, wanted him to come, you know, and live with her in Toledo and stuff like that, and you know the same, the same thing. But he, he didn't fall for the old okey doke like I did. <laughs> oh, you 
said, well, I got to lose, told you. Yeah. Yeah, I said, what I got to lose. Find out what you got to lose. Uh-huh. Well, I figured, you know, I, I figured, you know, she wasn't my type because, you know, I don't like fat chicks. I don't, you know, I don't care about no fat chick. But I, I thought, you know, I'm look, willing to look over that because we had good conversation on the phone. And I was willing to overlook the fact that she had a house full of children and she was fat and whatever. I'm willing to overlook that because I thought she might be a nice person and just been you know, go see see where it, where it goes. I said, what what I got to lose? Oh boy, that turned out to be a, a bad bad mistake. You know, cause you know, on the phone, and you know, when you first meet people, they put on their best show. You know, best. They sure do. They sure do. That's like when you're courting. It's the same yeah. thing too. You at your best always. You at your best. Yeah, you at your best. And, and and also, men or women, it doesn't matter with them. Both of them, they just try to be at your best. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing, she was, you know, she was sickly. She she had just had a back problems or something like that. She, so she was very docile, and, you know, in pain and stuff, whatever. Once she was, she once she started getting well over that, it, a whole different ball game. <laughs> the real her start coming out. You could already see it the way she bossed those children around. You know, I unless I'm sick, I don't need nobody to go get me anything. You know, if you want to cook, I come down to the kitchen and get my. I don't need to sit in front of a TV watching TV and about you know clap my hands. You know, like I'm some kind of king or queen. You know, serving. Go get me my food. Go get me. My, that's the way she was. Uh, she just sit there and. You mean with her children? Yeah, those those girls. Oh, so she really had them like uh. Under you know, you find some women, I don't know, they got their children really under control. And yeah. Stuff, where they really mind them. They really are what I consider good children. But, you know, sometimes you overdo it. You, like, use them. Mm hmm When it's un if that's unnecessary. You know, to do to your own children and stuff. Well, that's what she but was anyway, doing. But anyway, you have all kinds of people. All kinds of people. Uh, well, that's what she was doing. And she got, like, nine children or whatever. Uh, uh yeah. Wait, I thought she just had the three daughters. No, she no. Okay, she had uh, her own children. She got about nine. She got like seven oh girls. She got seven girls and two boys. What? She been wow. married. She been married about seven times. Wow. Wait a minute. You knew that before you went there? No, I, I didn't know. I didn't know she was married seven times. Oh my. She got and and five of the girls escaped her plantation and they 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 got out of her, her plantation. She she hates their guts. They moved, uh, they got away from her because they got tired of that slave life. They wanted to learn how to live life. They got tired of you know she's she's overly obsessed with Elijah Muhammad. Every other word, you know, she talking about pancakes. You well, you know Elijah Muhammad like pancakes. I'm like, what, what? lady. They don't have no, no, no. She went over a century. No, she had her own. She had her own thing made up in her head. How things are and stuff. No, because mm -hmm. and nobody under the messenger was going to invite no men mm -hmm. to live with her. Mm -hmm. No, no, we didn't do that. We wouldn't taunt that. I know that was a lie right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she got that from. Might have come from Wallace. She would have come from. I would be like, Mom, no way, hell, uh. Uh. No, she is a liar. Well, that's what, from get go. She, that's her own Islam. She made up. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I said because I never heard of that myself. You no, know, no, 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 no way. Yeah. yeah, she got her her own version. Yeah, you you developed your own thing. What you say? Oh, you mean this and you mean that? That's for you. We do a whole lot of things just to keep our own dirt going. Mm-hmm. You know, like you say, you using you using somebody's name, good name, to to cover your dirty stuff. That's just like the next on Jews. <laughs> you know, but a whole lot of people do that and everything. This one, I know, no, 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 I know that was no, no. She didn't get that thing. Then, no. then, then you talk she to her. She would be thrown out of the nation if she did some shit like that. Of course, the no, original, the original like nation. That. Yes. 
But you know, a lot, a lot of those people was doing stuff like that, you know, behind, they wouldn't doing it in in open, but in their own private home, they was drinking and smoking and doing a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, still celebrating Christmas stuff too. Yeah. I know everybody, right? That's why everybody come for a different reason. Yeah. And some people just take it because they figure they ain't going to see you outside and stuff or you ain't going to see them and stuff. So, yeah, they do whatever they can to get, you know, like uh, to cover themselves and stuff. Mm hmm. But once, once, like, the top find out about it, then your ass is cast out. <laughs> and you know it. Yeah, because. You know, uh, I know some brothers and sisters that have been put out of the mouth right there. Well, they are adultery. Mm-hmm. They're thinking out. No, they don't. So, no. No, you don't even court nobody like that. No, you don't. Have a Sh- Sh- this, this one. You know what? I decided to do this video to ask you guys whether you think I can be a porn star. Whether you think I have the skills and the audacity to shake my ass. you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice 
and I have never betrayed you. Yeah. I don't want you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice and I have never betrayed you. Yeah. I don't want you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice and I have never betrayed you. I will whoop your ass. 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 Yeah, I don't want you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice. And I have never betrayed you. Yeah. I don't want you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice and I have never betrayed you. Yeah. I don't want you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice and I have never betrayed you. Yeah. I don't want you going on a smear campaign against me and Maurice saying that we betrayed you. I have not betrayed you, motherfucker. Maurice has not betrayed you, motherfucker, you lying ass piece of shit. Maurice and I have never betrayed you. I will whoop your ass. 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 All right, brother. How you doing? I want to marry you. <laughs> Hi, brother. How you doing? I want to marry you. <laughs> so I'm like, um, I'm dragged on the street, but I had to finish up some things. But I was listening to your video, the one where you said I'm not looking like a fresh FYI. You look so handsome. I just, I just wanted to kiss you. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. so I'm Hi, brother. How you doing? I want to marry you. <laughs> Hi, brother. How you doing? I want to marry you. <laughs> But you know what? The worst thing to me is, is that the type and caliber of people he dealing with, like you gentlemen, 
and me and Noble and, and Nandy. We ain't the type of people that, that will not not kill him, 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 kill him. You understand what I'm saying? The worst thing to me. But you know what? The worst thing to me is, is that the type and caliber of people he's dealing with, like you gentlemen and me and Noble and and Nandy, we ain't the type of people that that will not not. Kill him, 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 kill him. You understand what I'm saying? He sent me. He sent me. If a woman send me a a psychiatric report, I don't care if it's doctored. You know what? That's where the relationship don't start. I don't even care if it's doctored. I ain't taking no chances. You went on after that. You're not and listening, you, sir, because I cut him off in July. You're not listening. So that's he the first time you've seen the report. He sent me the psychiatric evaluation on the internet in June, and I cut him off in July. So before that, that's you okay. know nothing else about him. That's okay. You never knew nothing else about him. I read his psychiatric evaluation on the internet, the one that is doctored. Okay? okay. I read it for the first time in June 2021. Right. Okay. And, you and then when him, he when he brought but this you only left to, him, but you didn't leave him because of that. You left him because the sister came on the platform. Okay, yeah. You didn't and leave him because yeah. he was crazy. And yeah, no, you yeah. said he it. brought that woman on. No, to his yeah, platform you did. To you check. did not leave him because so, he was know. crazy. Come on, okay. sis. Let's be clear. You That's did fine. not leave him because he was a nut job. Uh, okay, you left That's him fine. because it was a sister on the platform. That's the issue. So in no, reality, no, 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 it wasn't because of a sister on the platform. I, no, I, I, I cut ties with this him because I, I cut ties with him because I felt like he brought the woman onto his That's panel. That's what I'm to saying. So to call him crazy now is disingenuous because you didn't cut him off even when you seen the doctor report. Okay. It's disingenuous. Okay. Now. Well, I'll tell What's you what, angel step up I'm not you. going to uh, reconcile with this person. And thank you for allowing me to come on your panel. Um, a sent you, me, he sis, sent me. If a woman send me a, a, a psychiatric report, I don't care if it's doctored. You know what? That's where the relationship don't start. I don't even care if it's doctored. I ain't taking no chances. You went on after that. You're not and listening, you, sir, because I cut him off in July. You're not listening. So that's he the first time you've seen the report. He sent me the psychiatric evaluation on the internet in June, and I cut him off in July. So before that, that's you okay. know nothing else about him. That's okay. You never knew nothing else about him. I read his psychiatric evaluation on the internet, the one that is doctored. Okay? okay. I read it for the first time in June 2021. Right. Okay. And, you and then when him, he when he brought but this you only woman left on him, to, but you didn't leave him because of that. You left him because the sister came on the platform. Okay, yeah. You didn't and leave Jeff, him because yeah. he was crazy. And yeah. No, you yeah. said he it. brought that woman on no, to his yeah, platform you did, to check. You did not leave him because oh, he was know. crazy. Come on, okay. sis. Let's be clear. You that's did fine. not leave him because he was a nut job. Uh, okay, you left that's him fine. Because it was a sister on the platform. That's the issue. So in no, reality, no, 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 it wasn't because of a sister on the platform. I, no, I, I, I cut ties with this him because I, I cut ties with him because I felt like he brought the woman onto his That's panel. That's what I'm to saying. So to call him crazy now is disingenuous because you didn't cut him off even when you seen the doctor report. Okay. It's disingenuous. Okay. Now. Well, I'll tell What's you what, angel step up I'm not you. going to uh, reconcile with this person. And thank you for allowing me to come on your panel. Um, the Dean back called her and uh, I don't know what she said to her. I don't even know what she said to her. And then she just basically was quiet and let the Dean back talk. Yeah, I mean, that's all you could do, huh? but but if it was me, I would I would ask her a few questions like, uh, what the fuck did you want my mama to come to you for so you can get her social security check? 
<laughs> and I would tell her, what, what, what did you contribute to to his well being? All you was is a taker, 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 and you you wasn't giving shit. So then he wanna you want him to play step daddy to all them house full of kids, all these different dudes or whatever. Uh, she couldn't have called me and said anything. Wait a minute, now we talk about two different people here, okay? This one we talk about that old. Dean, that is the fat one. Yeah, the fat one in Toledo. That's the dean that the fat one. Right, the fat one. The other one thinks she's smart, but she's a dean that too. But <laughs> she don't. She ain't quite the dean baddie ish type. <laughs> she she one of them dean bats that thinks she knows something. So uh, uh, yeah, that's Alberta. Mm -hmm. And Alberta didn't make make no attempt to to try to come here. You know, she calling. Uh, Gwen or whatever, but she didn't make no attempt to even try to get to know any of. She didn't even come down here, and I was paying for everything. And I would have helped her find a job and made her, you know, feel welcome and everything, because I would have done that, uh, so she wouldn't be, you know, nervous coming and everything right. like that. Uh, I actually volunteered basically because, you know, so you, so y'all can keep your little friendship going or whatever. But uh, when you was sick. Half as dead, she didn't put no effort into even trying to come see you at all in any way, form, or fashion. It, it, it was disgusting to me. And I know you've been in her corner. I know you yeah. was there for her. I know you helped her pay bills or whatever yeah. she needed for her fucking for herself. But what about you? You know, I don't like takers. Right. Don't, don't never give. Then people like that, and that, that's why I, you know, that's why I was laughing at Greg's uh, thing. He responded about, even though it wasn't meant for her ears, but I was laughing about it because he told the truth about her. You know, somebody else come around and just use the hell out of her, and she take a good person and try to dog them out. Yeah. You got somebody that could have been a good friend. You didn't have to date them or nothing. Just right. Be a good, just be a good friend. A good friend. Not a fucking user. Well, that's all she turned out to be, and you know she, um, on on the internet now, you know, stab me, stab me in my back. I mean, how can you stab somebody in the back? You don't have to like me no more, but you're ingrate. All the thing, all the thing. Well, how how she gonna get with somebody that was a piece of trash and try to believe everything they say? That that person was a liar. Gonna try to take my mama mm -hmm. from me. To come and use her and get her social security check, and any any all she did was try to get free shit. Right. Like any way any way she could. She too lazy to work. Just fake. Just fake. You know. Just when, when I met her, I was like, ooh. Now now careful. we talking about now you talking about that old uh, fat ass pig. Yeah, cause yeah. she wanted to get yeah. mama out of the nursing home. Talk. Get your mama out the nursing home and bring her live with us. So she can get the chick. Yeah. Wasn't stunting mama. No. Just wanted the little chick. <laughs> and this is the so thing all, about it too. All her all her kids got checks of some sort. Child support, social security, some shit. Yeah. That's all she does collect checks. She don't do shit. Foster care and money. She was really, really, really tacky too because you broke as fuck, but you trying to wear name brand stuff. Looking <laughs> right. All, looking all tacky. I was like, huh? Huh? Wearing all this brand but, yeah, name. But, but when I first when I first met her, I told y'all like you better watch her. She something ain't right about her. She she creepy. And you know that this is the lie she's saying. She said that I molested your grandchildren, and the reason why I went to stay with her to get away from the fault that the charges that you filed against me. But but the thing about that is. Why your Georgia friend falling for that nonsense <laughs> without without any kind of proof? No. Nope. Without, without any kind of court charges? No. Nope. Without any kind of police reports? No. Nope. Uh, if it was true, wouldn't there be some kind of police reports or something like that? And, they, and if it was charges... Idiots. They're just idiots. And how can you be intelligent and be an idiot at the same time? I don't know. I believe... Social and media. I ain't, about, I ain't talking about the fat one because she's not intelligent. <laughs> the, the, the other one that thinks she's intelligent, but she's an idiot because you know if you if if, if you don't like somebody, 
why take from them? Right. You know, my one thing mom taught us is have your own. Mm -hmm. Don't take from a person if you don't want that person. Absolutely. No, I don't take nothing from nobody. Nobody was complaining she, she about, said, huh? She said, if you don't want them, you don't want what they have. Absolutely. So, I don't like users. I don't like disgusting people. And if you don't like somebody that bad, give them that crap back. Hell, put me on a payment plan. Look, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't even want you to say that you did this for me. Look. Oh, that, no, you, that won't happen. That won't happen. No, that ain't gonna happen because you don't, cause yeah. you, you don't hate yeah. that, you don't hate that bad. Because mm -mm. if I know, if I hated somebody and didn't like nobody that bad, so look, okay, I took this and that and that and that. Look, I will send you $50 a damn month until I pay you off or I think that I, mm -hmm. I basically I paid you. I don't want nothing else. I wouldn't have took it in the first place. If I'm a friend, I'll be a friend. Right. I'm not going to lead nobody on and pretend I want to be with them. I'm not going to take from them and don't give anything uh, in return. Uh, if somebody's sick, I'm going to come try to see them or, or do what I can to, to do better than just talking on the phone. Send a, send a gift or, or come and see them or something. And then the sad part about it is people had support, you know, from you to, to come if they was going to come. Yeah, right. Yeah, because I thought yeah. I thought the woman, after we talked, because she always talked about how bad Atlanta was and, and whatever. And so I asked her to marry me because I thought she was ready for a change of life. And I told her, you know, we don't even have to get married. I said, I will help you as a friend so that yeah, you can change your life. Right. Well, that's how we do. You know, we, we don't mind trying to be there for people, but people these days ain't nothing but trash. They so. trash. Nothing but trash. You can't help people. They take your friendliness as a it's you they took your friendliness as a weakness until you show them that it wasn't about being weak. Mm hmm You know, 'cause when when you when you helping somebody they think you stupid. I let them know, you think I'm stupid? I'm helping you because I want to. When right. I, when I when I when I stop helping you is because you taking it for granted. And that's what happened. It got to the point where I saw she don't want nothing in life. You know, some people just be talking. I, I'm I'm tired of doing this. I, I'm tired of doing that. You yeah, whatever. And you see them as time goes by. You see clearly they don't want to do nothing. And then write write them books unsus unsubstantiated information, just talking, just running your mouth and writing your opinion about stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody want to read a book with no with no re no uh, research. <laughs> you just talking, mm -hmm. no research whatsoever. And then she didn't even believe in the book. She don't even believe in the book. Here you you don't wrote this book. And then, within a less than a year or so, she don't even believe what she just wrote. I'm like, and then I asked her about it. I said, you don't think that that's a problem with that? You just wrote this stuff. And now you turn around to about, I don't believe in it. you confused. Look, this woman, she come from the Christian church. Then she went to be an uh, atheist. Then she went to be Hebrew Israelite. Then she went to be agnostic, and now she's back being a Christian. I said, you don't think that's a problem? That shows that your mind is really, really confused. Um, that sounds like retardism to me. Yeah, you sound like a retard. I mean... Wait. Now, when you saw her in person, did you see a skinny, sexy person? What the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> matter of mm -hmm. fact, matter of fact, mm -hmm. for as you know, do I like fat women? No, we wonder what was going on. <laughs> and I damn sure don't want no woman with a bunch of children either. I won't ain't mm -hmm. attracted to that. Mm -hmm. But I figured I was in a position at the time, you know, I was going through a little drama or whatever. I figured I'd take the gamble and she sounds sort of nice. I'm, so I said to myself, I'm going to overlook the fact that she's fat. I'm going to overlook. And you want to know something in the be, in the beginning? I sort of like that. I sort of I like... Mean, but, but, you know, if she was a good person, right. then there's things you can, you know, 
accept, yeah. even even if it's not your exact type, because nobody's gonna be perfect. Yes, but to be not your type plus a disgusting as a person, you know, that's that's not good. And it got worse and worse. The longer I was there with her, it got worse and worse. She likes to drink. I don't drink. Mm -mm. She smokes. No we, don't drink. no, we don't drink. Don't drink. Don't smoke. None of that stuff. Never have. But she likes to drink. She smokes cigarettes and she smokes weed. And like you said, she's just a disgusting person. It's all about her. You got to listen to her music. You got to eat the food that she like. Everybody in that house like red tomato sauce, which is the most popular. She don't like red tomato sauce. You got to get green. So we got to eat green tomato sauce because she like it. I said, I, I said, look, I'm not lazy or whatever. I can cook my own food. But why can't you get green and red? Because <laughs> it's got to be her way. It's got to be her way. And she forced you to listen to the music because you know I'm a Michael Jackson fan. You know, hey, you know I'm a Michael Jackson fan. Oh no, no Michael Jackson. You got to listen to her, her 1950s garbage or to Tamir Braxton or Jay. Now, when you saw her in person, did you see a skinny, sexy person? What the <laughs> matter of fact? Matter of fact, for as you know, do I like fat women? No, we wonder what was going on. <laughs> And I damn sure don't want no woman with a bunch of children either. I won't ain't attracted to that. But I figured I was in a position at the time, you know, I was going through a little drama or whatever. I figured I'll take the gamble and she sounds sort of nice. I'm, so I said to myself, I'm going to overlook the fact that she fat. I'm going to overlook. And you want to know something in the be, in the beginning. I sort of like that. I sort of like you know, if she was a good person, right. then there's things you can, you know, accept. Yeah. Even, even if it's not your exact type, because nobody's going to be perfect. Yes. But to be not your type plus a disgusting as a person, you know, that's, that's not good. And it got worse and worse. The longer I was there with her, it got worse and worse. She likes to drink. I don't drink. Mm -mm. She smokes. No, we don't drink. No, we don't drink. Don't drink. Don't smoke. None of that stuff. Never have. But she likes to drink. She smokes cigarettes and she smokes weed. And like you said, she's just a disgusting person. It's all about her. You got to listen to her music. You got to eat the food that she likes. Everybody in that house like red tomato sauce which is the most popular. She don't like red tomato sauce. You got to get green. So we got to eat green tomato sauce because she like it. I said, I, I said, look, I'm not lazy or whatever. I can cook my own food. But why can't you get green and red? Because <laughs> it's got to be her way. Mm. It's got to be her way. And she forced you to listen to the music because you know I'm a Michael Jackson fan. You know, <laughs> You know I'm a Michael Jackson fan. Oh, no, no, Michael Jackson. You got to listen to her, her 1950s garbage or to, to Mir Braxton or. Mm -hmm. And you want to know something? I never realized it until until this year, because uh, Alberta and this other lady was talking about sexual abuse. I didn't realize I got raped by this fat pig because I did not want her. And I told her I'll come and be with you in, in a relationship. But I told her. Uh, it, it has to be a sexless relationship because I knew I wasn't attracted to her like that. Maybe after a while it might turn different, but right now... But you know, she should not have agreed with that because she wasn't that type of person. No. She could have just rented you a room and made some money off you and called it a day. Right. And, and call it a day. Now this is what she said. She said that I just showed up at her house one day. Uh, get out of here. No, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. All that, everything you do is premeditated. We we saw you leave. Right. Everything. She came here saying y'all was 
supposed to be married, which right. wasn't even a real marriage. No. Uh, I thought y'all was supposed to be married for real, for real, but it no, wasn't. It wasn't. So she contributed to that. You didn't just show up at her door. <laughs> so, see, that, that's disgusting. Too. While, I, while I have said that, when you came and met us, you was taking him away with your little fake wedding ring and your fake marriage. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, why, <laughs> ooh, why did you, ooh. And people you actually, know? you got some idiots, some dumbass idiots, actually, Look, okay. She, I, I met her one day, mm -hmm. one day. I only saw her once. Right, one time. Didn't, didn't believe half the shit she was saying, and whoever believed what she says got to be kind of retarded. Yeah, they are. Because... You can clearly hear her lies just in her voice. <laughs> I, I don't believe anything come out of her mouth. Mm -hmm. Then she said stuff about you to us that wasn't true. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, that's not even in his character, this junk you saying. Right. I don't remember what it was. I don't yeah, remember what it was I, either. I, just, I don't remember what she was saying, but it was out of character. Yeah. Whatever it was. And we all didn't agree with and believe what she was saying. I wish I could remember what it was. Yeah, I can't remember what it was because I remember that conversation because she was saying something about me, and y'all was like, "That's not even, that's not even him." Now, yeah, when we when we at the uh, Man Pee Wee Hotel or something, I mean, at we, the Marriott, we was at the hotel. Yeah, the, the Marriott. And, uh, she was telling some stuff. I'm like, huh? <laughs> All right, if you say so. Now, to you know, to your knowledge. She talk about I watch porn. Do I talk about porn? Do you think I watch porn? Hell no. <laughs> well, you haven't been around me, my me and my computer a, a, a lot or whatever. Have you ever seen porn on my computer? No, you just like singers and stuff, cute ladies. Right. But no porn. I yeah. never heard, heard or seen you looking at no, no porn. Hell, I don't even look at it. I mean, who gives a fuck about it? If you can't have it for real, what's, what you gonna sit around looking at that shit for? You, you know that I, you know that I watch. You know, like I save up all those like Jet Beauty of the Week pictures or, or yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, that type of thing. I ain't never seen no porn. I only see ladies that you think is cute. It's cute. None of them, none of them was fat. Not a single one. Not even close to fat. Except your fake wedding, your fake marriage, right? That's the only, only fat person coming with a fake ring. You know, I thought y'all was married. Now the the, 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 ring, the ring, the ring is real. The, the 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 ring is real. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying fake marriage. I'm, oh yeah. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying whether the ring was real or not. I don't know. They didn't, didn't even think about it. Didn't even care. Right. I mean, if y'all said y'all was married, then I thought you were for real. Right. So how did you just show up at her door when she came and told us that y'all was married? Yeah. And you know, I thought you was married for real, for real, not under Satan's laws or nothing like that. Yeah, some religious garbage. That's why I went for it. That's why I went for it because I know it wasn't. I know I knew it. It's not legal under under under. It might be it might be legal under religious garbage, but it's not legal in the United States, and that's all I care about. Right. Okay. You know that religious stuff. You know, and plus I'm not religious, so who gives a damn? I don't care about that stuff. But like you said, I'm willing to overlook the fact that she's fat. The children. Hey. If she was a good person, you still would be with her, probably. probably yeah. Would've, probably would have uh, had your little homemade family. Right. Called ready made family and stuff. Yeah, because I actually sort of like that. The girl, you know, the children, it's her. She's the problem. I never had no problem out of those girls, those daughters. They like me being there. I was the only male there. They like me being there. You know, we go out and do things. They used to stay and stuck up in the house. You know, when I was there, you know, we go out and do certain things. Cause, and I wanted to get them out the house because I knew they were stuck up in the house all the time. Let's go out and do something. Even if it's just go to the park and sit around. I wanted to get them out the house. And they like that. It's her. She's the, the problem. I think your problem is that you just try too hard. Try to be a good person. Yeah. And, and uh, even when you see people are disgusting, yeah. you just keep trying until it just plays itself out, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you want to know something? I never realized it until until this year because uh, Alberta and this other lady was talking about sexual abuse. I didn't realize I got raped by this fat pig because I did not want her. And I told her, I'll come and be with you in, in a relationship. But I told her, 
uh, it, it has to be a sexless relationship because I knew I wouldn't attract it to her like that. Maybe after a while it might turn different, but right now. But you know, she should not have agreed with that because she wasn't that type of person. No. She could have just rented you a room and made some money off you and called it a day. Right. And, and call it a day. Now, this is what she said. She said that I just showed up at her house one day. Uh, get out of here. No, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. Everything you do is premeditated. We we saw you leave. And right. Everything. She came here saying y'all was supposed to be married, which right. wasn't even a real marriage. No. Uh, I thought y'all was supposed to be married for real, for real, but it no, wasn't. It wasn't. So she contributed to that. You didn't just show up at her door. So, <laughs> see, that, that's disgusting. Too. While, I, while I have said that, when you came and met us, you was taking him away with your little fake wedding ring and your fake marriage. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, why, <laughs> ooh, why did you, ooh. And people you actually, know? you got some idiots, some dumbass idiots, actually, Look, okay. She, I, I met her one day, mm -hmm. one day. I only saw her once. Right, one time. Did, didn't believe half the shit she was saying, and whoever believed what she says got to be kind of retarded. Yeah, they are. Because... You can clearly hear her lies just in her voice. <laughs> I, I don't believe anything come out of her mouth. Mm -hmm. Then she said stuff about you to us that wasn't true. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, that's not even in his character, this junk you saying. Right. I don't remember what it was. I don't yeah, remember what it was I, either. I, just, I don't remember what she was saying, but it was out of character. Yeah. Whatever it was. And we all didn't agree with and believe what she was saying. I wish I could remember what it was. Yeah, I can't remember what it was because I remember that conversation because she was saying something about me and y'all was like, that's not even that's not even him. Yeah, now, when, we, when we at the uh, Man Pee Wee Hotel or something, I mean... At the Marriott. We was at the hotel. Yeah, the, the Marriott. And, uh, she was telling some stuff. I'm like, huh? <laughs> All right, if you say so. Now, to, you know, to your knowledge, she talk about I watch porn. Do I talk about porn? Do you think I watch porn? Hell no. <laughs> and, well, you haven't been around me, my me and my computer a, a, a lot or whatever. Have you ever seen porn on my computer? No, you just like singers and stuff, cute ladies. Right. But no porn. I yeah. never heard, heard or seen you looking at no, no porn. Hell, I don't even look at it. I mean, who gives a fuck about it? If you can't have it for real, what's, what you gonna sit around looking at that shit for? You, you know that I, you know that I watch. You know, like I save up all those like Jet Beauty of the Week pictures or, or yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, that type of thing. I ain't never seen no porn. I only see ladies that you think is cute. It's cute. None of them, none of them was fat. Not a single one. Not even close to fat. Except your fake wedding, your fake marriage, right? That's the only, only fat person coming with a fake ring. You know, I thought y'all was married. Now the the, 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 the ring, the ring is real. The, the 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 ring is real. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying fake marriage. I'm, oh yeah. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying whether the ring was real or not. I don't know. They didn't, didn't even think about it. Didn't even care. Right. I mean, if y'all said y'all was married, then I thought you were for real. So right. How did you just show up at her door when she came and told us that y'all was married? Yeah. And you know, I thought you was married for real, for real, not under Satan's laws or nothing like that. Yeah, some religious garbage. That's why I went for it. That's why I went for it because I know it wasn't. I know I knew it. It's not legal under under under. It might be it might be legal under religious garbage, but it's not legal in the United States, and that's all I care about. Right. Okay. You know that religious stuff. You know, and plus I'm not religious, so who gives a damn? I don't care about that stuff. But like you said, I'm willing to overlook the fact that she's fat. The children. <laughs> If she was a good person, you still would be with her, probably. probably yeah. Would've, probably would have uh, had your little homemade family. Right. Called ready made family and stuff. Yeah, because I actually sort of like that. The girl, you know, the children, it's her. She's the problem. I never had no problem out of those girls, those daughters. They like me being there. I was the only male there. They like me being there. You know, we go out and do things. They used to stay and stuck up in the house. You know, when I was there, you know, we go out and do certain things. Cause, and I wanted to get them out the house because I knew they were stuck up in the house all the time. Let's go out and do something. Even if it's just go to the park and sit around. I wanted to get them out the house. 
and they like that. It's her. She's the the problem. I think your problem is that you just try too hard, try to be a good person. Yeah, and, and uh, even when you see people are disgusting, yeah. you just keep trying until it just plays itself out. I guess. But don't let you know. Because I was good to these to both of them ladies. Yeah, of course. And they know I was very, very good to them. Even to the point, even to the point, I would actually, I would lay down my life to protect them. Well, I, you know, you're my brother. I know every detail about you, but yeah. I, I can say that if you there for somebody, you are there for them. Right. And even when I said stuff about Alberta, you was kind of sticking up for her. I, I didn't say too much because I didn't want to, you know, ruffle your feathers or whatever. Right. Because you was being pretty protective of her, especially. Yeah. And um, so whatever happened, she just lost a good friend. That's all. That's yeah. her loss. It's her loss. Because out of both of these women, like I say, what did they do for me? What did I gain? Nothing, 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 nothing. You just lost money. Yeah. I never, I don't see any gifts. You, you never showed me anything they bought you. You never even showed a letter that they wrote <laughs> nope. you. Never even said, I, I care about you. I don't have to be in love with you, but I care about you and wish you the best. Yeah. And when you was dying, hell, definitely didn't hear nothing from nobody. Well, <laughs> see you later in hell, sir, or whatever. I don't know. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because Alberta could have came to the hospital and spent a day or so. She only she only worked um, two days out the week. I'm I was gonna pay for her to come come see me in the hospital. And, and like, like I said, I was gonna support you uh, and her to make her feel welcome to make yeah. her feel that, that she wasn't by herself or whatever. Yeah. Um, she wouldn't have been on her own. Yeah, just like if, if she wanted to come here, I told her, I said, my, my sisters and everybody, they will support you and, and help you. And then you got my little grandnieces and people like that. They'd be happy to have like a little auntie or another friend around, you know, because she like she, you know, she don't have any children. But, you know, that'd be a, I said, that'd be a good environment. Get yourself out of that toxic environment in Atlanta, you know, change your life because, you know, she got a degree to be a paralegal. Right. And she's right. and, she, and she's she having a problem. She could she could have worked for the state. Yeah. Because this is the no. thing: you might not be able to get work in your state, but if you go to another state, they'll hire you. For some reason, I I think it's because of of uh they know if you come from out of state, you really need that job. I think that's the reason why they do that because they know you don't have no relatives or nowhere. You come from out another state or whatever. I think that's the reason why. They do stuff like, but if you at home, they figure you got some backup. Well, in spite of that, you was gonna take care of her. Yeah, right. I was gonna take care of her. <laughs> if, it take her if it took her six months to find a job, hell, she'd have been just living off of you. Hell. Right. I was gonna. I, I'm. I'm taking care. I was gonna take care of her. But see, the way I look at it is this: if me and her in a relationship, or even if we was just friends. I'm going to help you get on your feet because it's no guarantee that I'm going to be doing this forever. Like I got sick. Okay. So when I get sick, now you strong. Now you can help me because I'm, I'm down. That's too much like, right? You, you asking for a person to be a good person. Yeah. 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 You gotta, you gotta, you gotta try that stuff with, with a good hearted person. Not with just some old crap that you just met off a computer. I, I haven't, I haven't met. I haven't met no good people really in my life. Everybody, so-called friends and associates I ever dealt with, basically, always try to rip me off, and I don't even have nothing. Well, that's how the world is. That's just the way of the world. Like John Barry. John Barry, that was his idea to go rob that fruit stand. That was his idea from the very beginning. Was it? <laughs> and then when we got caught up, uh, Betty told him to blame everything on me. It was his idea, like that's gonna get him off the hook. We got me, me uh, and him got caught in that fruit stand outright. How you gonna blame me? We both of us got caught outright. How you gonna blame me? It don't make no difference who I did is, 
And don't you know we both could have got killed that night? Because mm -hmm. that guy was justified. We was in his place. Don't let, don't let, you know. Because I was good to these, to both of them ladies. Yeah, of course. And they know I was very, very good to them. Even to the point, even to the point, I would actually, I would lay down my life to protect them. Well, I, you know, you're my brother. I don't know every detail about you, but yeah. I, I can say that if you there for somebody, you are there for them. Right. And even when I said stuff about Alberta, you was kind of sticking up for her. I, I didn't say too much because I didn't want to, you know, ruffle your feathers or whatever. Right. Because you was being pretty protective of her, especially. Yeah. And um, so whatever happened, she just lost a good friend. That's all. That's yeah. her loss. It's her loss. Because out of both of these women, like I say, what did they do for me? What did I gain? Nothing, 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 nothing. You just lost money. Yeah. I never, I don't see any gifts. You you never showed me anything they bought you. You never even showed a letter that they wrote <laughs> nope. you. Never even said, I, I care about you. I don't have to be in love with you, but I care about you and wish you the best. Yeah. And when you was dying, hell, definitely didn't hear nothing from nobody. Well, see you later in hell, sir, or whatever. I don't know. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because Alberta could have came... To the hospital and spent a day or so. She only she only worked um, two days out the week. I'm I was gonna pay for her to come come see me in the hospital. And, and like, like I said, I was gonna support you uh, and her to make her feel welcome to make yeah. her feel that, that she wasn't by herself or whatever. Yeah. Um, she wouldn't have been on her own. Yeah, just like if if she wanted to come here. I told her, I said, my, my sisters and everybody, they will support you and, and help you. And then you got my little grandnieces and people like that. They'd be happy to have like a little auntie or another friend around, you know, because she like, she, you know, she don't have any children. But, you know, that'd be, a, I said, that'd be a good environment. Get yourself out of that toxic environment in Atlanta. You know, change your life because, you know, she got a degree to be a paralegal, right? And she's had, and she, and, and she's she having a problem. She could have she could have worked for the state. Yeah. Because this is the yeah. thing. You might not be able to get work in your state, but if you go to another state, they'll hire you. For some reason. I, I think it's because of, of uh they know if you come from out of state, you really need that job. I think that's the reason why they do that, because they know you don't have no relatives or nowhere. You come from out another state or whatever. I think that's the reason why. They do stuff like, but if you at home, they figure you got some backup. Well, in, in spite of that, you was gonna take care of her. Yeah, right. I was gonna take care of her. <laughs> if, it take her if it took her six months to find a job, hell, she'd have been just living over of you. Hell. Right. I was gonna. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm taking care. I was gonna take care of her. But see, the way I look at it is this: if me and her are in a relationship, or even if we was just friends. I'm going to help you get on your feet because it's no guarantee that I'm going to be doing this forever. Like I got sick. Okay. So when I get sick, now you strong. Now you can help me because I'm, I'm down. That's too much like, right? You, you asking for a person to be a good person. Yeah. 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 You gotta, you gotta, you gotta try that stuff with, with a good hearted person. Now we just some old crap that you just met off a computer. I, I haven't, I haven't met. I haven't met no good people really in my life. Everybody, so-called friends and associates I ever dealt with, basically, always try to rip me off, and I don't even have nothing. Well, that's how the world is. That's just the way of the world. Like John Barry. John Barry, that was his idea to go rob that fruit stand. That was his idea from the very beginning. Was it? <laughs> and then when we got caught up, uh, Betty told him to blame everything on me. It was his idea, like that's gonna get him off the hook. We got me, uh, me and him got caught in that fruit stand outright. How you gonna blame me? We both of us got caught outright. How you gonna blame me? It don't make no difference who I did is, and don't you know we both could have got killed that night? Mm -hmm. Cause that guy was justified. We was in his 
place. I, I let him know I know about her, and he still haven't revealed her and haven't. Oh, we broke up, and I'm like, you know, just just stupidity. Why I'm his friend? Because I'm a cautious friend. I know he's a liar. I just don't just don't take anything he say to face value. Hey, speaking of your grandbaby, uh -huh. did, did you did you have did you have grandbabies in 2013? No. <laughs> She said you had grandbabies in 2013, and you charged you charged me with with a child molestation. I said you. I said this woman didn't didn't even have no grandchildren in 2013. No, 2017 was my first grandbaby, <laughs> and, you have, and you didn't have no access to her because she was never around you. No. <laughs> she, was always with me. she was always with me. I watched my baby, my baby with me. I know that's right. You know, and do you know? I don't even like being around children. Well, I don't even like being around children like that. And when I'm around children, most of the time somebody is there with me. You know, I don't. And plus, we talked about that. I don't even like because I don't. I don't want to get caught up in those. Don't, stuff. don't put yourself in that position. Yeah. So. You ask me to go with you sometime, I go because I don't, I, I, like I tell my son, you know, uh -huh. I don't put yourself in that position yeah. where people could, you know, even say that about you. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, you was with somebody who had kids, so yeah. you, you had no choice but to be around them. But, um, you know, anytime you can, you know, stay out of out of reach of people's kids, that that's good. Yeah, because... You don't want people accusing you of that shit. That's some deadly shit. Yeah, you don't want to get, especially with my background, I don't need to be getting caught up in no crap like that, you know. Nah. So I, I already got a messed up background as is, and then you want to add some stuff. And plus, people lie. I let him know I know about her, and he still haven't revealed her, and haven't, oh, we broke up, and I'm like, you know, just, just stupidity. Why I'm his friend? Because I'm a cautious friend. I know he's a liar. I just don't. Just don't take anything he say to face value. Hey, speaking of your grandbaby, uh -huh. did, did you did you have did you have grandbabies in 2013? No. <laughs> she said you had grandbabies in 2013, and you charged you charged me with with a child molestation. I said you. I said this woman did. Didn't even have no grandchildren in 2013. No, 2017 was my first <laughs> grandbaby. And you, have, and you didn't have no access to her because she was never around you. No. <laughs> she, was always with me. she was always with me. I watched my baby, my baby with me. I know that's right. You know. And do, you know, I don't even like being around children. Well. I don't even like being around children like that. And when I'm around children, most of the time somebody is there. With me, you know, I don't, and plus we talked about that. I don't even like, cause I don't, I don't want to get caught up in no, those don't stuff. Don't put yourself in that position. Yeah. So. You ask me to go with you sometime, I go, cause I don't, I, I like I tell my son, you know, uh -huh. I don't put yourself in that position yeah. where people could, you know, even say that about you. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, you was with somebody who had kids, so yeah. you, you had no choice but to be around them. But, um, you know, anytime you can, you know, stay out of out of reach of people's kids, that that's good. Yeah, because you don't want people accusing you of that shit. That's some deadly shit. Yeah, you don't want to get, especially with my background, I don't need to be getting caught up in no crap like that, you know. Nah. So I, I already got a messed up background as is, and then you want to add some stuff. And plus, people lie. I know you're not scared. I know you're not. Look at I'm you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, you got to be careful. Indictments. For the you know touching the nieces, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh shit! Did you all just hear that? Yes. Oh shit! I but you know what? What he don't understand? See, I hadn't seen this video in a while. I had. I hadn't seen it at all. I had forgot about all this was seen in the video because I hadn't seen it in a minute. You know. Well, you know, at this time. Oh my god. I know. You know, at this time, I wasn't even listening to none of this. I didn't even know this video exists. And I'm going to tell you something else. Oh the God. only reason why they don't have no evictions on him yet in St. Louis about the pedophilia against Con his niece uh, is because conviction. he ran. Conviction. He ran. Yeah. 
You mean that the reason why they don't have any convictions on him? Oh, yeah, for oh, for, okay. for pedophilia, cause he ran. Uh, he ran from St. Louis. Okay. And they couldn't find him. And then he talking about he was up in the truck. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this clown Sambo, Angel Snuffin' Up 7, didn't know nothing about driving no truck until I told him about it. Because I am a retired truck driver. And when I met him and I told him I drove trucks, that's when he went into truck driving, basically. And when he went into truck driving, after my daughter had that car wreck and almost died, and he stole all her money and disappeared. Then that's why he was up in a truck because in a truck, you don't have no destination. You don't have no address. So he was riding around the country, calling himself working to keep from getting any charges pressed against him in Ohio, where I have two warrants against him right now today that are active still. So I know he hate me and I don't care, but let's be clear. Him and Noble never had a sexual relationship. All they were was having a relationship over the internet and over the phone. And me and him, for the few days that he was around me and my family, which was no longer than 45 days. And I found out he was absolutely insane. I, I told him he had to leave. And I also gave him a chance. To also, find a place to go. And also he came, he came to visit me three times only. About th yeah, three times. Yeah. Right. Again, pushing himself on you. I know. Yeah. But y'all didn't have no sex? Because no. he can't have sex. He's never had sex. Never had sex. I never I never even seen it. I never even seen it. I never I don't think he's ever had sex with uh -oh. anyone. I mean, I ever. never seen it or anything. You know? No, me neither. I don't think he's ever had sex with anyone. Uh -huh. mm. Wow. So Black Sun, you know what? I bet if we do some digging, we'll find some charges against him for pedophilia. But they never charged him and he never went to court about it because he ran. He left St. Louis and came to Ohio. That's why he wind up on my front door. And I didn't even know he was on his way. I didn't even know he was coming because I did not invite him to my home. Mm. He was on the run, y'all. He was on the run. On the run. And he's still on the run. Mm. The police right here where I live at right now in Michigan, they are looking for him. So he better keep hiding wherever he at. That's what he better do. He keep trying to, you know, he was trying to lie, say all I did was make a police report. No, I went to court. They charged him. And I have warrants out on him right now. So he is a liar. And that's why him and Nandy probably still friends because they two of a kind. <laughs> I think she crazy. She just is not certifiable yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Woo. Woo. Lord. They comical to me. The only one I give any credit to is Black Sun because Black Sun, you know, he did apologize to us. Uh -huh. But, you know, Black Sun just, if he would just come clean, I would have Black Sun's back in a heartbeat. But he won't come clean. Uh, no. He He'll talk about her behind her back, but he won't tell uh -huh. it to her face. No, he ain't going to tell it to her face. Yeah, he'd probably be back on the channel. Shit. Well, you know what? You say that, and I, I keep holding out that I know Black Sun well enough to know I that did. he got more pride in himself than that. I, I hope. mean, she done turned on every one of them. She done turned on Chris Harris. She done turned on every one of them. Every one. I mean, because I remember Chris Harris used to be on her panel all the time. I remember that. Oh, yeah. She was always talking about Chris, Chris, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris. Now Chris is a I mean, a, but a bitch ass nigga like yeah everybody. she done she done turned on free spirit she done turned on Melvin. Melvin all of them used to be in her chat room on her panels okay uh huh and again as a PSA I just want to repeat 
only reason why I'm on here and we are doing this is for my brother DOD and all the other great content creators that I have met and ran across. And I want them to know she bad business. And I know one that knows she is. And that's Angela. And mm -hmm. Angel, she ain't gonna mess with Angel. She do Angel just like she do us, talk about her like a doll. Angel ain't worried about her because there's one thing about it, she'll never be back on SVDL. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, and that's another thing. It's so funny. She tried to get them few little fools in her chat room to think that she don't want to deal with nobody. Now, it's not that. Don't nobody want to deal with her. That's the that's the real beef. She mad because don't nobody want to deal with her. They don't want her around. They know she a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. But she tried to make people feel like she ain't got to go on nobody. She say, I don't need to go over there. I don't want to be by No, baby. I mean, don't nobody want to be if you, if, you, if you If you fuck with her, you can expect that she's going to slander you at some point. Now, if, if, she get, if she get mad at you, she's going to have you, your face, all on her channel. She's going to have your family members all on. I mean, whatever she could use against you. Whatever, whatever she could use against you. That's, that's right. what she's going to do. And lie okay. and say. Uh -huh. And lie and say about you. That's yeah. what she's going to do. Yeah, yeah. Then I, and then she tried to tell DOD. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. She tried to make DOD believe that I've been over on Taz and all of them show. I ain't been over there in so long. I don't even know if they still on YouTube or not. They still on YouTube. Well, I see. I don't know because I ain't been over there in so long. I, I stopped going over there before Angela broke that story. Yeah, yeah. So she just a liar, DOD. She just a, she just a, a backwoods. Uh Low down, slutty liar. And, and tell them why you stopped going over there. Tell them why. Who? Tell them why you stopped going over there. Over there, Taz and I. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, for one thing, I'm not a divester. And number two, I thought being over there, me and some of the sisters could talk about the problems with black men. And try to come to some reconcilable uh, 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 agreements where we can, you know, try to heal some of these wounds between black men and black women. But, you know, they, they, they don't care for it over there. So it wasn't no sense of me keep going over there because every time I bring up strong black women, like my grandmother, my mother and stuff like that. It seemed like everybody was ready to pounce on me because mm -hmm. it seemed like them, them women over there just don't have no, uh, what would you say? They don't have any empathy for the the past of our foremothers and the struggles mm -hmm. they went to in the yeah. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, and then another thing is, you know, I, I, I wanted, I wanted a, um, what would you call that? I wanted a wrench from Taz. And I asked, could I get one? Because I was really supporting him at one time, but I never got a wrench. So I felt like he really maybe didn't care that much for me or maybe Nyla didn't. So I said, well, ain't no sense in me keep on going over there. So I stopped going. Mm -hmm. And then I don't agree with a lot of things Taz says about some of our old Patreons, Patriots, like, you know, some of the old leaders and mm -hmm. especially the messenger. Because I know he don't know nothing about the Nation of Islam. Not he, he, like I told him, he pulled his whole card too fast. Too fast. Whatever his plan was, he should have worked it a little bit more intense. He should have riveted it before he uh, started acting crazy in front of me. He should have, he should have, maybe he should have took some of his medicine to calm him down just to prolong the facade, right? <laughs> but he didn't. He wanted to keep impressing upon me that nothing was wrong with him when I'm seeing him doing things that was totally in line with somebody who was schizophrenic. Okay? I'm seeing it. Girl, he, um, he's having a mental breakdown. Deservedly, that that is an episode of schizophrenia. What what I seen earlier on this live stream that he did 
hours ago. That was an episode of schizophrenia and like a bipolar disorder episode as well. And he just, you know, he just looks like somebody who need to be locked up behind 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 bars right now. He really do. He needs to be locked up. He need to be back at he need to be back at that mental facility. Yes, he does. You know, based on what I saw earlier. If he does if if they know and find out and it's in a way legal done legally, oh they coming to get. They coming to get. Because the condition was that he was to never go nowhere near Mr. Anthony or his family or, or, or try to ride him talk about him send him letters nothing that that's that was the deal and if he ventured into that type of behavior again Oh, he going back. They don't know it, see. And I didn't have enough compiled evidence against him. I didn't know nothing about all these videos and stuff he was still making. I knew about the page. I've already, I've had that copy. I, I know how to pull it up. Because if you Google me, it will come up with my other pages. So that's going to be proof positive. Yeah. And I, I ain't going to give all my little information now. I'm just saying. He can keep on. More for me. That's how mm -hmm. I feel. Well, I noticed... I noticed he did not respond to any of the allegations laid out in my video. He did not respond to not a single allegation, not one. Well